Hey YouTube, all you beautiful people out there. Today I'm going to show you how to replace your dryer motor on a typical wrapper, power wrapper. Um, this works for American Tackle, this works for Pack Base, um, it works for Alps, and in some way I think it'll work for the CRB um, system. Though I never really worked with it, it's just a different setup with the the vertical everything anyway um, so what you need to do is you need to take off your chuck this is a pack bay chuck I've already replaced that <clears throat> all it is is simple get rid of these screws uh, and screws and bolts here remove the belt and um, get to the main part um, I'll let you know when I get there eh, I'll keep you on we'll just fast forward everything Everything's apart, and what we took off was this American Tackle. Uh, this is a 7.5 to 9 RPMs. This is actually a higher motor. Um, this is probably a 32 um, RPM motor, but because of um, how the pulleys are set up, it comes out to be 7.5 to 9 RPMs. So, what we're going to uh, upgrade to is this 100 rpm motor now by itself yeah that is way too fast um, but I'm looking for about a tw uh, 25 um, 25 rpm and this is gonna fit just perfect and I got this off Amazon um, I'll see if I can leave some, some uh, links to um, in my description for these motors uh, there's a bunch of different companies out there I chose the one that has the same kind of lineup as your typical uh, motor AC motor but uh, <clears throat> I mean that just go with one that you know it will fit now this particular one takes a capacitor to run and I don't I didn't have that capacitor uh, it didn't come with a capacitor I thought it would because it showed in the picture don't you hate that anyway um, I actually do have a capacitor and this is gonna run just fine focus up that is the capacitor I'm using um, I didn't want to order any more because I'm not ordering 25 in a pack I only need this one so this is gonna work just fine now there's a lot more wires coming out of this thing than um, your typical two strand wire uh, motor for this so we're gonna have to wire this up the right way and I found that um, you could use your typical wire to wire splices you can pretty much um, solder them together if you want but <clears throat> I found what makes it easier is these three channel uh, terminal um, crimps so um, I already marked everything I got blue here blue green red and I'm just gonna follow everything to what it is. Alright, 
first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the wires we're going to feed it through this port here or the power wire for the uh, motor the wrapping motor is there so we're going to fit all those through and grab and pull those out okay now we're going to just loosely and I've used that word a lot in my videos um, we're going to loosely mount this and give it a little turn and there you go yeah we're going to have a lot more wire sticking out but you know it's uh, it's going to be what I want um, so we just go ahead and just get that nut turning so it's not going to fall off okay and this one we're going to go this way because it's harder to get the wrench through that way. So I have it mounted. It's not on there all the way. It's okay. We're going to turn it over. Now, how we're going to set this up. Um, we need to know which direction we want this to turn. And I already tested it with a live wire and um, carefully. Um, and when it comes to capacitor, when I rig it up like this, these two terminals are going to be wired up with the green side. This is going to be right with the red. This is counterclockwise, and this is going to be clockwise. And I want it to go clockwise. So I take my three thing here, and um, I'm going to put my two yellows together. And I'm going to just twist them together like this. And I'm going to put this in the blue because I didn't have a yellow sharpie, nor did I want to look for it. So tightening that on. There you go. And then green is going to go in here in the green side. Put that in there. Screw in that terminal. Okay, and red goes in there. Anyway, so I got that in there. Now I'm going to take, I'm probably going to have to back this off, back those off because these are pretty long terminals. So I got to match up the green with the red. So just get those fitted in there for now. And back these off. So I can fit these in. Red. Now, leave yourself a little bit of gap in here because we do have to have a wire running from the green. And so, I'm still shaking. Damn, right off the coffee. Holy crap. I do have steady hands, it's just right now I'm apparently nervous because <laughs> I want to do everything right for you guys. Um, so the switch, we're going to have to wire a part to the switch. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your two uh, power wires and you're going to put it into the left side. Where, where it connects to the yellow. I'm going to slide that in there like that. And tighten it down. And now we're connected, but we still have to hook up the switch. Um, and what you're going to do there is, I just took a piece of scrap wire, and I connect, put these two ends on there. Now this, is going to attach here to that screw. Let's go ahead and turn it in that direction, tighten it down. Wrong screwdriver. 
and then I am not an electrician at all so you want to use whatever you got I'm using what I have and this little flapper thing um, I'm going to attach to that terminal for clockwise so I'm gonna pull it out I'm gonna crimp this around that and then this is gonna pop in slide in right there perfect okay all right so off camera I go I went ahead and connected that piece to that terminal on that capacitor and now all I'm gonna do now is splice it in like this and to connect to that capacitor terminal you only need you I mean you, you could you could solder that um, or if you have another connection you want to do do it but you could definitely solder from off of that I just figured this would be a lot easier for me and to show and now we're gonna test it I'm gonna plug it in okay and up is dryer so boom now as you see it's moving it is moving but once we hook the belt and everything back up it'll run smoothly now you have enough space to fit everything in here you just gotta make sure nothing gets pinched <clears throat> or no bare wire touches anything so what I like to do is line everything up test it again looking good all right so all right so I'll, all you gotta do is put the the belt on on the uh, wrapper motor and then around here and then what you're gonna do is I I found it easy to take the uh, the support bracket I guess that you put on the wrapper I put tape on the back so it holds the screws and all I'm gonna do is just fit them up there Okay, then I'm gonna push it up a little bit, get it snugly. There it is again, snugly. Okay, and now I'm going to square this chuck up. So I'm gonna get it where I want it to be. And if I had a, uh, a square, whether it's a, com a small combination square or a triangle square, um, which I don't have it on in this shop, I have a ruler. And all I'm going to do is match up the square bottom to the track of the wrapper right here where my thumb is. And I'm going to make sure that it's square and in line of where I want it to be. And that looks like it's about right there. And I'm going to just twist these on more. And then I'm going to take my 10 millimeter and just tighten them up. I'll leave the masking tape on there. It's not going to be a problem. If you want to take it off, you can take it off. But tighten them up like that. Get it so it's not going to be moving. Always never over tighten your screws. Let's go ahead and pop off the wrapper part. Put it on here. And bam! Ten times faster, which is what I want. Awesome. Well, if you like these tips, let me know. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't. I do tips all the time. Uh, I did announce my winners of the Lime Pooler uh, giveaway. And if you could, um, 
go back to that video, which will be right here, and in the comment section I left the names of who won, please email me. Again, uh, thank you, and have a great day.